ASMR. It looks like we may have a lot to do in Stardew Valley today. We've got Caroline's birthday. We have the traveling merchant is back today. We have a recipe for a plum pudding we can re read here. Or, I guess, watch. I'm gonna read it. My character's gonna watch it. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish. Plum pudding. Little Jack Horner is jumping at the bit for this ooey-gooey delight. And who can blame it? The plums are floral and sweet with just the right amount of tartness to fully activate every last one of your eager taste buds. You'll just have to try it and see for yourself. You learned how to cook plum pudding. Okay. Oh. Hello there, Sari. So, your first year in Stardew Valley is almost over, huh? If you keep buying seeds from me, you'll be twice as productive next year. I don't know how you can really claim that beer, but whatever. And I have some exciting news. I'll be selling new seed varieties in my shop next year. I should have one new variety per season. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Have a good one. You know, I wouldn't even bother trying my competitor's seeds. Beer seeds are the highest quality seeds you'll find anywhere. That's a promise. Okay, beer, whatever you say. I'll take your word for it. Dear Sari, tomorrow we're all gathering in front of Marnie's house for the Festival of Ice. It's a celebration of winter. There'll be snowmen, ice sculptures, and an ice fishing competition. Arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you'd like to participate. Mayor Lewis. Sounds like fun. The powder melon look pretty cool. I thought I was looking at them for a second. I was like, they look like the yams. What are these snow yams? They kind of look like that. Okay, so... Oh, we need to put our fire cords in here with our regular cords. Because, yeah, there's no way we want our fire cords turning into refined cords. That's just ridiculous. Okay. Before I forget what we're doing here. 100 hardwood. And five iron bars, right? One, two, three, four, five. If you guys watched the last episode, I took my 100 hardwood to go get the stable for a horse because you can move a lot faster with a horse. We have a lot of gold now. We can do it. It's no problem. Well, I didn't realize I needed five iron bars too, so I got up to Robin's. I probably should have checked before I went, but I got up to Robin's and was like, oh, I don't have the iron bars. So I made my way back. Eventually, I did some other stuff. Then I made my way back to my house. Got the five iron bars. Accidentally hit this button on one of my chests and put the hardwood back. And didn't realize until I got back to Robin's house again that I did not have any hardwood. I only had my iron bars. It was so ridiculous. So, needless to say, I do not have my stable yet. I'm gonna move this. Maybe we'll put it like over here. I want to make sure we can put the stable here. I moved my shipping bin. Um, I also moved the cow barn closer to the chickens here. So, I don't know why I have a, did I put a winter root in there? I must have. I don't think that's really worth making into like pickles or whatever that's gonna turn into. I don't even know because it's a forage item. If you even can put it into one of those, you might not be able to. Okay, so. Let's do her. I, I'm struggling now. Like, winter is the time to kind of upgrade your buildings and your tools and that kind of stuff. But I'm struggling to figure out what order to do things in because there's so many things I want to upgrade. I want to upgrade the barn. We're still on the first level for the barn. I want to upgrade the house so we get a kitchen. Um, we did upgrade the coop to the deluxe coop, so that's at the highest level now. But we also...
also could go and buy some more animals. Littlefoot looks really happy today. Who was the one that said they were, it just, they were fine on yesterday on the last video? The previous day in Stardew Valley, one of them said, this one, sharp tooth, he's, he looks fine. What, why, why is he not happy? That bothers me. I don't know what he wants. He's got food, he's got heat. But he just says fine. We're gonna keep an eye on him. He's, it's unacceptable. I said this last time, it's unacceptable to me if it, the messages say anything besides they're really happy today. I get it if, you know, I forgot to feed them or something that's, you know, understandable, but otherwise we want them to be happy all the time. Alright, do we get an egg? This stuff's all gonna get shipped, I think. Okay, so we really need, if we want to make any more winter seeds, I think we need to try to collect some crocuses. I think I must have collected them and then sold them. I don't know. Alright, we need this for... Um, for our horse stable. Let's see, what do we want to try to give Caroline? I know I don't have any of her favorite things. A sunflower. We do have a lot. I think we have sunflowers saved. In here. Let's give her one of those. She is. She's in her house right now. Oh, Bam's walking at the bus stop. That's the only thing that bugs me about the going to the desert is Bam doesn't get to the bus stop until 10 a.m. So if you're like waiting to go, she's kind of slow. You can if you stand in front of her and block her way. It makes her walk faster. So that's like a little hack you can use. You could, um, block her path for a second and then she'll walk really fast. But I still don't know how much that speeds it up. Like, maybe she gets there by, like, 9.30 or something. I'm not sure. Oh, this is weird. They're both in the bedroom together. Thanks, sweetie. That's very kind of you to remember my birthday. We're hiding in here so we don't have to talk to anyone. What? We're hiding in here so we don't have to talk to anyone. What? That's so weird. Really? It was the previous owners who built the altar room. We are religious, but we let the other town folks use it if they want. Oh, that's nice. I didn't realize that. That's interesting. George is over here. You don't see him out of his house very often. I've never been religious, but hey, I'm old. So what? Is that like time to start now because I'm old and I'm about to die? Like, that's horrible. They say the bus is back up and running. I'm sure Bam is happy about that. I heard she'd been drinking more after losing her job, so hopefully this helps. Well, I hope so too, because that's sad. It's weird to me, though, because the mayor said the bus hadn't worked for decades, so has she, like, been sitting around moping and drinking for decades? That doesn't really, uh, track very well to me. I don't know, maybe she has been. He said, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure he made that comment about the bus, that it, had, it hasn't been in operation for decades. So it wasn't a recent thing if she lost her job. What are these? Are these cold? This is new. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. It's coal ore. No way. That's amazing. I'm pretty sure that's a 
next item. I should probably just use some of these bombs to blow up this stuff. It's silly to just stand around chopping everything. Look at that. I wonder how much coal we're gonna collect here. I didn't even care about the other stones, I'm just excited about the coal. That's awesome. in the 
request from mom but lost it somewhere near the bathhouse. She's going to freak out if she notices it's missing. So I don't know who this is, but it's probably, well, I'm guessing, like, Abigail or Maru, because I would assume if it's a necklace borrowed from a mom, that it would be a girl, but maybe not. Also, I guess, um, Haley and Emily they do have parents, they're just like traveling, they're not, they're, there's a note in their house that says that they're away traveling at the Fern Islands or something like that, I think. So, but I, it might be, I'm guessing Abigail, maybe. Someone is waiting for you on level 100 in the Skull Cavern. Oh, that's creepy. Like if you go 
out here, you come into the village. So it's definitely a shortcut. A human visitor. This is most unusual. I'm Krobus, merchant of rare and exotic goods. Sorry, I'm still a little weary of the humans. My shop is still open to you, however. Okay, so. We could buy a void egg from him and hatch a void chicken. Um, I think the only way to get that besides buying it from him is if the witch randomly comes over your farm and turns one of your eggs into a void egg. And I, I don't know what the chances of our, that are, but I think it's pretty rare. Um, so 5,000 isn't ridiculous if you don't want to wait around for the witch, because I don't know if that's even, you also have to, you'd have to leave eggs in your coop overnight for that to happen, I think. I have had it happen before. So he has a star drop for 20,000. We should probably buy that. Butterfly powder. Sprinkle on a bat to remove them from your farm. The process is irreversible. Why would you want to do that? I, I've never been able to buy this. It's two million gold, but it would be so awesome to have it. Return home at will. I don't know, it's a lot of gold, but the wizard catalog. M. Rasmodius's private furniture collection. Interesting. I think that might be new. I don't know. We're gonna buy the star drop. You found a star drop. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of trees. Your maximum energy level has increased. I don't know if I want to buy one of these now or not. We'll go ahead and do it, I guess, and hatch it. Once you have one, then it'll be laying void eggs for you. So this is interesting. You, you could get, if you needed any of these for a community center or something, you could get them here. But I think by the time you unlock the sewer, you're already like a little further along. You probably could collect either the 99 slimes or the 10 bat wings you needed, even if you couldn't get these. But, alright, the rest of these are like decorative things. We don't really need them. Let's go up this ladder. I think this comes out. Yeah. So you can fish in the sewers. There is a legendary fish in there that you can catch. Also, carp. Like, just carp. That's all you can catch. Besides the legendary, like, mutated carp. I was hoping we could find some crocuses. I didn't see any, though. seeds so that when the when the first batch is done growing we can plant more but I need to find crocuses because I think I sold all the ones I picked up oh here's a gut scene with Linus Sari come stand next to the fire pit it feels great I was hoping you'd come by sometime. I wanted to say sorry for mistrusting you at first. Most people don't treat me well, so I've learned to be cautious. But you've been uncommonly nice to me. You're a unique person. And I consider you a good friend. to show you something. Come inside. That sounds so suspicious, I have to say. Ah, there we go. See this? It's a special kind of fish bait that I make. It's top quality. 
quality stuff. I need it myself. Here, I want you to have the recipe. Learned how to craft wild bait. I'm pretty sure this, the wild bait is the one that allows you to have the chance of catching two fish at once. Let's see. Wild bait. A unique recipe from Linus that gives you a chance to catch two fish at once. Yep, so you need fiber, bug meat, and slime. Which, that's awesome if you, especially if you're trying to do one of those, like, a quest for somebody where they want you to catch a certain type of fish. Oh, the festival of ice is tomorrow. Okay. Well, it's 11.30 at night. My energy is totally full. see any crocuses anywhere. suspicion that we need to go fish in the water next to the bathhouse, but I don't know if you can do that when the water's frozen. Alright, so we have not found any crocuses. Is there anybody that likes Holly? RV, Leon, Linus, um, but nobody loves it, so should try to make some. I believe if you have one of those each type of forage items, I think you'll get 10 seeds if you craft it. I think. I believe that's right. So I did put those iron bars away. Dang it. I was trying so hard not to do that. Alright. Um, let's go to bed, I guess. My energy's totally full because it filled up after I got that star drop. Level 8 mining.
wearing a jo is that a Joja jacket? I thought it said Joja on his little like on the like breast. I I mean it does work for them I guess. Welcome to the Festival of Ice. The highlight of today's festival is the ice fishing competition. We set up this frozen lake and stocked it full of fish. Just let me know when you're ready to compete. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. It's actually kind of hard to do this because you can't cast. You have to just drop it right in the hole. And I find that difficult to do. All right, everyone. Let's begin this year's ice fishing competition. Contestants, your goal is to catch as many fish as you possibly can in two minutes using the provided fishing rods. You must catch your fish here from the easels in the ice. Well, is everyone ready? Begin. See, I was like right at the edge of the ice. I find that challenging to not cast because normally you're trying to cast it, you know, as far as you can to get that max cast. I think those two, Pam and Willie, have already caught more than me. A bike, that's a tough one. Yeah, see, I went outside of the water. I don't know if you get any kind of points for having, um, was that an ocean fish I just caught? A red mullet, I'm pretty sure that's an ocean fish. Stop. Oh my word, come on. You're right at the top there. There we go. Let's see if I can get one more. I did not go over to see what the um, traveling merchant had. I probably should have checked her stall. Just gonna run down to the sacred woods and chop some stumps. 
Jesus it is, but it's gotta be a lot, like 500 or something, I think. That's getting late. Okay, well, let's make our way back home. If we could just build that stable, we would be so much faster if we could just ride our horse where we wanted to go. There's also, I noticed a book at the bookseller that makes your horse go a little bit faster, which I think that would be beneficial. I'm thinking that probably we need to bite Ray. This one's for treasure. Um, what's this one? Makes your catch more secure, causing the fish to cling to your catch. Of the fishing bar to cling to your catch. I don't really like those. I find it actually really hard to use that. I'm gonna sell it. Um, we do have 11 mahogany seeds, which might be a good idea to plant those, but we already have some saplings planted that are, you know, not currently growing, so I guess There's no rush, really. That was a good day. 11,444. Alright, we have one more day till Sebastian's birthday, so let's at least play through his birthday because we've got some good stuff planned to give him. Um, I didn't check if there were any monsters known as Squid Kid are throwing the elemental balance into disarray. I would like the adventure, an adventurer to enter the mines and slay one of these fiends. Uh, I don't even think we've seen any of these. I guess we're not far enough down yet to, the, to find them, but maybe we'll go and see if we can find one. We'll try it. The worst that's gonna happen is we don't get one. Oh, I should put this. I'm not gonna wear, I don't think I wanna wear this hat. Ah, let's see, let's try it on. It's kinda cute, but I think we'll put those away. I think my favorite thing that I've found so far and it wasn't in this game, was the swashbuckler's hat. I found it as a drop in the cave. And it has a big feather coming out of it. It's super fun. Um, I think right now, probably the straw hat is the best one we've gotten, but I think we'll go without a hat for a while. Are these done? They're gonna be big. Look how big they are already. I'm hoping what I can do is just harvest what we've got here and then immediately just plant more so that we've got them on the fertilized soil. That's my goal anyway. Uh, where is our, where's our fishing? Oh, we're carrying our fishing pole. I'm gonna, we don't have our upgraded pole yet so we can't even use these lures right now. Actually, let's check on our animals quickly, and then I'm going to add up to Robin's. Oh, it's Tuesday. Dang it. She's not going to be there today. That is the most, like, seriously the most annoying thing. I feel like I decide I'm going to do something, and then it takes me, like, five actual in-game days to get it to the point where it actually happens, because... People are not at their shops or whatever it is. No, I don't want to eat the egg. I wonder if we could catch her. Like, there's a way to catch her when she's, like, leaving the house. But you have to be there, like, right at nine. She has to be. Oh, I didn't get the... I didn't get the milk thing. Um, you have to catch... 
catch her right as she's walking by the cash register and then it like counts as if she was like standing behind it if she's standing next to it we can try that i don't know if we'll be able to do it though because her house only unlocks at nine i don't know down. 
deeper than we went. We used all of our bombs. Oh, there's a stairwell. That wasn't too bad. Oh, I see one. Look down here. I feel like I do better if I can 
is still kind of cute. It's so little. Okay, did we get him? Oh no, there's one more. There we go. There can't be that many more here, right? Although this is a pretty big level here. That's my luck, right? 
look at that. This one's like infested with mushrooms. That's crazy. Um, yeah, that gives you a lot. But the only thing with that is that they're really kind of rare, so I'd rather, you know, not look at all these. Holy cow. I've never, I don't know if I've seen this before where they're like everywhere. Right, there's stairs. The problem with these levels that wrap around in a spiral like this is there's usually like treasure stuff at the center. And then if you want to go all the way there, and you might not, there might not be another, uh, oh my gosh, I don't think he hit me with that, that time, yeah, so that's like a vex, and it, it takes away, it's like minus eight defense, so you just take all this damage. I'm seriously annoyed that I had to restart my day and now I come down here and there's no squid kids anywhere. Like, how many did we see the first time? There was... I'm pretty sure there were more than one, right? And now they're just gone. something useful in these. Oh, that was a lot of bone fragments. That's nice. I still don't know, like, there's what you use those for. I think there was at least one crafting recipe that I remember seeing. What was it? I, th I thought it was some type of, um, oh, we can do the farm computer now if we want. I think maybe it was one of the types of fertilizer. Yeah, the deluxe speed grow, you need bone fragments and oak resin. So that's useful if you're trying to do crops like strawberries or something where you're trying to get an extra or, you know, blueberries, something that, that needs to grow faster to get an extra harvest out. That's when you want to use that. I was trying to chop these in hopes that there would be another ladder, but it kind of doesn't look like it. I guess I just have to walk all the way back. At least we know we can make it to level 100, but then if I don't find a squid kit today, I have to try to come back down, find one tomorrow, and then still make it back to the wizard's house to turn the quest in, which is a pain. At least if I was able to find one today, I don't have to worry about coming back in here. A star drop. Yeah, it's gonna fill my energy and my health too, I think. Does it fill my health? Maybe not. You found a star drop. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of trees. Your maximum energy level is increased. Yeah, so it did not fill my health. Alright, so this is where we have to get the uh, fire eel from this level. If we're trying to fish for that. Okay. So, please tell me that we can find a squid. No. No squids. Well. Ah, there's one. Yes. Okay, so. I think if we can get him without dying, we should be able to get him just in time. I was just checking to make sure there wasn't one down there that was closer. Oh, finally. Okay. Awesome. And now, we're gonna just get the heck out of here. It's midnight. Um, there's a ruby over there, but I'm not gonna go back for it. Not at this point. Not after we passed out trying to do that the first time. says that the slime gatherer in 
increases slime dropped from slimes and can be accompanied by Slime Slayer, which is true in this case. Slime Slayer says increases damage done to slime, which can be accompanied by Slime Gatherer. So, those are considered low-level enchantments. Um, so I guess that might be worth keeping, just because if we're trying to reach the slime goal, the slime, slime slayer goal, uh, I think we might be able to use that. I don't know why I am walking. I'm, I forgot that we've got the, um, <laughs> the minecarts repaired. I could have just rode in the minecart over to the bus stop. Alright, we'll put the mushrooms in the cave in the morning. Now we need to go to sleep. Alright, I'm I'm keeping an eye on this to see which bed I wake up in this time because I'm really curious why that keeps happening. Alright, 65, 73 is pretty good. Alright, winter done. This is Sebastian's birthday. So we need to Alright, I did wake up in that bed that time. I don't know why. I feel like the music in the winter is kind of sad. Um, so the only downside to the mushroom dehydrator is that we're never gonna have enough if we want to make life elixir. <laughs> it's always gonna be cooking them. I wonder if we should take out some of these ones that are harder to get. Like, it's not gonna cook the red ones, that's fine. But, we need um, the chanterelles, the purple mushrooms, and the morals in order to make the life elixir. So I'm thinking maybe it'd be better to keep some of these like over here in case we do wanna make that. than that is producing, so that's a downside. The day is in our hands today. Um, at least the upside is we are now good enough friends with Sebastian that if he's locked in his room all day, we can walk in there. Because I feel like it's super hard when you're first starting out and you're trying to get somebody a gift or whatever and you don't, you can't go in their room because there are days when Certain people do not leave their bedrooms. Oops. There we go. Alright, let's go check our chickens and then we'll see if we can find Sebastian. Oh, we need to go to the wizards too.
I should say the mine. That was no good. Let's see if there's topaz in here. There is. Okay. Um. Oh, and you know, it would also be helpful if I actually had the stuff that I wanted to give to Sebastian. <laughs> Sashini and the Star Drop Tea. That way we get bonus points. The Star Drop Tea says it would delight anyone, so it's supposed to be a great item to give to anybody. Um, Sam's actually like walking out here with his mom, so maybe we can. I think he actually has to go to work. Maybe we can catch him. He's on the way there. Yeah, he's coming up now. Hey, thanks a million, Zeri. I should have known you'd be the one to take the job. <laughs> so you've been to the sewer, huh? I've snuck down there a few times myself. It's pretty creepy. How could I tell? Let's just say the nose knows. Ew, that's gross. I smell like the sewers. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. No, thank you. I'm gonna turn in the... Oh, I picked up some trash there. Let's see. The number of grubs in the local caves have made mining dangerous for other people. Not me. There's good money for anyone willing to slay 50 of them. Clint. 1,000 pieces of wood in a week. You can keep the wood. Uh, I think that's going to be a tough one to do in the winter, Robin. Alright, so 50 grubs or 1,000 pieces of wood. That's an easy choice. We're going to go with this one. Let's make some Make sure he's still at home. He is. Okay. Let's turn this in to see what we get. Oh, we get another one of these. Can I get that? I love that there's a cow in here. That's so fun. Um, I wonder if I can give him... Now I have two of them. Can I give him both of them on the same day? Let's see. Let's go to the mine and then see if we can't find him. It messes me up when you've completed a quest for somebody and it still has the little exclamation point. Like, because his quest was today and I gave him the topaz, it's still on there. I feel like it should clear off of there after you've completed it. Once you give the person the item and turn it in. like it, please. 
grazing along the empty stretch of road toward the faint city glow. Once I've saved up enough money, I'm going to head out on my own to the city and beyond, just me and my bike. possible or destroy the capsule. 
shrieks and crumbles into dust. Well, I guess that was a good choice then. You pick up the Solarian staff and hold it high. Order has been restored to the world. You finish the scenario with a B rating. I, w I wonder what, what, what gives you an A rating. Interesting. Hey, not bad. It took me like in three or four tries to beat my first scenario. Seriously, like, not many grubs here either. We're gonna be taken over by flies. It would help if I would face the correct direction to take these things out here.
person that you're dating gets mad at 
judge you if they know that you're like giving gifts to other people. So once you've made your choice, it's just easier to like leave people at eight, I think. I don't know. I've never um, done it, but you can have him as a roommate if you level up as arts. He'll move in. He has a room off your house. If you do it, you can't have a spouse. He, sh he like takes the spouse place, but you're not married to him. He's just a roommate. It seems like that might be kind of fun. Alright, so we'll have to work on some of those other people leveling up their friendship. Let's read these notes we've got here. Oops. I hit something behind the community center. Ooh, that's mysterious. Ancient farming secrets, line 37. There's no better helper than a raisin bread junimo. Yes, that was in one of the library books that their favorite food is raisins. So I assume we haven't unlocked how to make raisins. I guess raisins would be grapes in the dehydrator, right? Um, I guess you just, it says they're too shy to eat out of your hand. So I guess you just leave the raisins in the little collection bin for them, maybe. I'm not sure. We're not to that point yet. We haven't unlocked the Junimos. Sari, it seems like you're starting to get close with some of the townspeople. If you want to show someone that you're romantically interested, you've got to give them one of my beautiful flower bouquets. I'm selling them now for a very fair price. If you want to start a family someday, this is the first step. Be here. Okay, so our crops are ready here. Um, but I think this is a good place to wrap up because I really just wanted to get through Sebastian's birthday and we had quite a struggle in the mines there. So, <laughs> I think we did pretty good. Job well done for the day. We're going to wrap it up here. Um, so, again, thank you so much, guys, if you tuned in to watch Serenity today. I really appreciate all of the viewers. If you guys aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing to help the channel out. And stay tuned for the next episode. I'll be back soon with another one. Bye.